Hi flute players, so I'm going to teach you how to do A taps in this video. A taps are the same on either flute, so no matter what you're playing, that is totally fine. So to play an A tap, you're going to finger your A and you're going to tap your ring finger down and bring it back up, okay? So in slow motion, is what it looks like, okay? Now A taps are um, one of the more difficult taps because they're what I think of as ring finger taps. Our ring fingers tend to be slower. They're connected to our pinkies through tendons and all sorts of things. Um, and it's a little harder to get them to move as quickly and independently as some of our other fingers, especially if we're not lefties, especially with the stretch with this ring finger here. So things you can think about. Um, in other videos, my posture videos, I talk about turning to the left. That will alleviate some of the stress here, okay, if you do that. And also, if you kind of strike, sort of like a cobra, so rather than locking your finger straight and trying to play with a very straight, stiff finger, I find letting the joint bend and just flow, um, like a cobra striking, is a little bit um, more accessible for me personally. So when you do it, okay, the thing about taps you want to be careful of is we don't want them to sound um, lazy. <laughs> so lazy taps, Okay, I'm sort of like staying down too long with that ring finger. I'm sort of creating a long note, and that's not what we want. We want to remember that a tap is a fast articulation. It's meant to kind of start the beginning of a note. So to practice that, <clears throat> we'll do four A's, we'll tongue them, and then we'll tap four A's, and we'll try to make sure that they sound identical rhythmically. So your tap is taking the place of your tongue to tack. So tonguing four A's. Good. And then take a minute to just stretch out because I don't know about you, but my I can't do these too much or my um, tap finger gets a little feisty. Okay, and then we're gonna try a slightly different exercise. Oh, that feels good. What we're gonna do is we're going to practice playing G, A, A, rest. F, A, A, rest. E, A, A, rest. D, A, A, rest. Okay, so we're going down. And as we go down between those two A's, we're gonna do a tap. So this is what it will sound like. We're starting on G. Okay, so we'll try that together. One, starts on G. One, two, three, four. Start on that low D and come back up. Same thing, just starting from the bottom and going up. Ready, two, three. Excellent, nicely done. So that is how you play A taps, and I think that's everything about those.